<laughs> Back up. We're not done with the hammer. We have to build every single hammer in the game, right? Is that how this works? That's how I used to do it when I started playing Monster Hunter World and I had no idea what was good and what was bad. I would just craft every weapon. We're not going to do that, though. Let's see what other uh, what other hammers we're going to be interested in. We used, what, the Acidic Glavinous hammer today? I think the Acidic Glavinous, if you can find out how to keep the purple sharpness, it's probably going to be what speedrunners use. Not sure, though. Could be a different weapon if they definitely can't find a way to keep it sharp. Hey, look at this. Uh, the upgrade for the Rathalos hammer. I missed this. Look. Oh, that looks sexy as hell. That's silver, man. So what is it? 1,400 purple sharpness, 20% affinity, 420 fire, blaze it. <laughs> All right, but look, let's look at this. So, 1404 versus 1508. Ruinous Obliteration is just immediately better. Oh, yeah, here's the, um... What did this... This came from the Cockatus. Is that how you say it? Is it Cockatus? Am I close enough to the mic? Can you guys hear me? I think my microphone is quiet sometimes. So, this is 1300. It's basically still bad. Damn. Aqua... Aqua Fluorescein. Really? It's cool. 1300 with purple sharpness. It's just terrible. Glacial Bash. That's the Barrieth Hammer. You're never going to use it. Nope. 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 That's actually not bad, man. The Earth Ender Hammer. Bone Tree Hammer is decent. It's surprising because it's a very accessible early game weapon. Damn. Victoria, uh, how did, Victorious Northline? What the hell is a Northline? So this is very similar to the Rathalos hammer up here. 1404, 20% affinity, 420 fire damage, blaze it, blaze it. And then down here, we have Victorious Northline. A little, well, actually it's weaker than the Rathalos hammer. Oh wow, very interesting. Pandemonium Unleashed, 1352, no purple sharpness, 510 dragon, it's bad. Let's see what else. Nope. This one's okay if you can get over the negative 20% affinity, but it's just okay. Urgon Hammer. Blue sharpness? What mad world is this? Glavinous Oruga. Nope. Nope. Wow, these were all so bad. Nope. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, nope. Blue sharpness. Is this Garuga? <laughs> hey, this looks okay. Look at that. 1404. Purple sharpness. 240 poison. Poison's okay. 25% affinity is not bad, actually. So it's kind of like in that group, isn't it? Rathalos Hammer, Valkana Hammer, Garuga Hammer. That 25% affinity is actually pretty sweet. Uh, you know, because if the affinity's high enough, maybe you don't need to build all that crit eye. You could focus on something like attack boost, peak performance, agitator, other skills. <laughs> So we'll keep this guy in mind. The Garuga Hammer, not bad. It's not the it's not the poison. It's the uh, 1404 attack, purple sharpness, and 25% affinity. That's making it look good. Then here we have the Chaos Shatterer with no purple sharpness. Negative 25% affinity is actually going to be hard to deal with. Okay, so that's 1508. And and again, just is, is there any purple sharpness on that? I don't think that's purple, right? Hold on. Let's use the magnifier. Oh, it does have purple sharpness. Look at that tiny sliver of purple sharpness. All right, so it does have a little bit of purple sharpness, but so does this guy. Yeah, they both do. Yeah, sorry, it's got to go to the grinding. It's because of the negative 25% affinity, because, I mean, unless you're building, like, some weird protective polish setup for Chaos Shatterer, honestly, what's going to end up working for grinding mallet... <clears throat> excuse me. What's going to end up working for it is you're going to eventually get 100% Affinity Master's touch builds. That's what's going to happen. That's my suspicion. Barith Crusher. It's not bad. I mean, I'd rather just build the, the Bone Hammer. It's going to use less specific parts. Here's the Bracky Daddy Tail Hammer. 1352, 0% Affinity. 510 Blast is surprisingly not bad. That's not a bad hammer, guys. Look, it's 1352. You probably don't have to build much sharpness into it, so you would focus on something else. 0% affinity is better than negative affinity. The 510 blast, really not bad. The small decoration slot. And a fire, fierce small, 1404, immediately replaced by the silver Rathalos hammer. Grinding Fulgur. 
It's bad. That's bad. <laughs> That's always bad. Dawning Tranquility, 1456, 0%. So we, this is the one to, to build right here. We're going to build this one. We've already got the Acidic Glavinous one. It does a little bit more damage, but it does have less sharpness. Uh, and Dawning Tranquility, if you're not able to handle with uh, the pro the issue with the sharpness, would be your next best bet. Ooh, here's that Magda Floga Reforged. Look at that. It actually has less blast. Oh, look, they've really changed the way it works. The way What made this hammer interesting in the past was the fact that it, it had like terrible sharpness, but now you can reach purple sharpness on this hammer. Wow, that's interesting. I wonder why they decided to go with that. I would have liked to have seen it been, I would have liked this to have been a permanent blue sharpness weapon with like a really high attack value, very negative affinity and tons of blast, but it actually has a less blast uh, than the Bracadillos hammer. Look at that, 1352, 0% affinity, white sharpness is already built in pretty well. Versus 14, ooh, not that one. Versus uh, 1456, uh, but you lose out. Well, you know, I think that's a decent trade actually. They're quite close to each other, wouldn't you say? 1352 versus 1456. That's like a hundred. You know, that's a hundred attack, anyways. And um, but then you have negative 20% affinity, and you're like, how do I deal with this? So here's the da aura. You're never going to use this probably. 1352, a little bit of ice. What's up with Zenjiva? Will we see Zenjiva again, you guys think? It's workshop weapon tree. Oh, we need to go play Arena. Uh, here's the Consummate Hammer. We're going to Consummate our relationship. 1456. Unlocked Dragon. Negative 30% affinity, though. It's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Max Might... Excuse me. Max Might changed everything, man. 1456. 1456. Locked Dragon of 480. Unlocked Dragon of 360 and negative 30% affinity. Just... just Sorry, the Devil Joe weapons are outdated now. They're no good. <laughs> I have not been impressed by anything other than the Devil Joe light bow gun. That's the only only thing. So this is the Guts Hammer. 1300, 20%, 270 blast. I mean, these are... It's interesting. I feel like these have... Oh, that's actually not bad right there. Look at that. So that's 1404 with unlocked blast, two decoration slots, and haste of recovery on a hammer. That's not bad at all. I think you might end up building this hammer. Look, it's got the it's got the uh, purple sharpness all the way at the end. If you wanted it, that is not a bad hammer right there. And what is with this? Somebody should tell me what am I missing to unlock a view of the sticks hammer? Has anyone unlocked the sticks hammer? There must be something I'm missing. I'm sure of it. Bristly grudge. I want to see the upgrade to bristly grudge. I love the way this hammer looks. I did a lot of videos on it. Okay, so Shara Ishvalda it is. And what about this guy? You would just have to be able to build a lot of attack boost and peak performance to make up for the fact that it's a lower damage hammer. That's all there is to it. So 1508, large white sharpness bar. Just cool, I guess. I mean, it's easy. Right now, it's easy to, to find the appeal of that because... We don't all understand Master's Touch, how to get the most out of it for every weapon yet. But I know we will. Somebody somebody probably already does, to be honest. I mean, I don't know everything about Master's Touch yet, how well it optimizes right now. Where, where's our hammer that we built? Here it is. 1508, locked. It's really not bad, though. It's really not bad. Maybe we'll craft it. So that one has my eye, the Ishvalda has my eye. Yeah, we gotta craft the Nergigante one too. The Nergigante ones, we gotta see what it, you know why? Because, let me explain guys. That huge built-in white sharpness bar leaves you all these leftover slots to work on. Uh, and you're not gonna be building Elementless either, obviously. So you're gonna end up having all these leftover slots and I'm just wondering, for like a utility build where you have earplugs or maybe you have tremor resist or maybe you have wind pressure resist. Maybe you have a whole bunch of defensive skills like, I don't know, uh, health boost three, divine protection, defense boost, heroics. Now, by the way, is pretty buffed um, for defense that is. So maybe on like a, a heavy defense build or maybe some other just kind of like utility build, I think you would reach for this. I think you would. 
I'm all familiar with those kind of builds because that was why I liked the Sleep Hammer. Remember that? The Sleep Hammer was not stronger than the Diablos necessarily. They were very close though. Um, but the thing is, you just got so much utility out of the Sleep Hammer that I could do so many builds with it. I could do any build I wanted and it, it, it kept up in damage. It was like fine. You know, it was like, yeah, this is fine. Here's Obliteration's Footfall. Let's take a look. What do we need? Nergigante Hard Claw, Eternal Regrowth Plate, Large Elder Dragon Gem. Okay, let's get the materials together. Today, our goal is to build the Ishvalda Hammer and to build the Nergigante Hammer. Those are the other two hammers we're interested in. We have the Acidic Glavinous Hammer. Um, it's going to be a hammer that I suspect speedrunners will be using because they're going to figure out exactly what you need to get perfect Master's Touch. That's what I think. This music is so catchy. I want to whistle it right now, but... Oh, look, we got some people joined. How's it going, everyone? Am I ready to make a hammer video yet? I feel like I'm ready. I feel like all I'm... I'm at this point where I just need to unlock those weapons, unlock all the armor in the game, and then we are good to go on the hammer builds. But the thing is, that takes a while, unlocking all the... I wish I could hand my account off to somebody who just plays a lot and be like, unlock all my stuff, please. <laughs> all right. So, Nergi Farty. How do we fight Nergi Farty? Does he... Sh I'm, I'm assuming he shows up... Oh, Ao says he has Nergi Investigations. Very good. Let's see if I have one as well first, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll spend mine and then you don't have to waste yours. We'll just check first, okay? And if I don't have them, you can post yours. Well, we got a lot of these done. I care about the research points, not the spheres so much. Wild Spire Waste. God, this game's so fun, guys. I am very, very lucky to have you guys as an audience while I play this game, because I'm, I'm doing exactly what I enjoy. And I have a nice little audience to share it with. Doesn't get much better than that. Right, why don't we just go target... Ruiner, Poopy Gante. Where's Poopy Gante? They need to have this... They're so bad at these little things. Uh, how do the developers not decide to put this in alphabetical order? It would just make it immediately easy to understand. You just go, okay, where are the R's? And then you'd look for Ruiner Nur Gigante. I I'm sure I'm passing right over it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just going to tell him to post because I don't see it. Actually, he's probably watching. Oh my god, the, the Xbox keyboard. It's trash. Look how long it... See, the, see how there's no keys showing yet? That's because my screen is now frozen. I can't do anything until it finishes loading. This is it loading, by the way. It's still trying to load. Trash. I give the, I give the Xbox keyboard a 0 out of 10. It's actively damaging the Microsoft brand because it's such poor quality. How can it be 2019 and your freaking keyboard doesn't load? Come on, man. Load your damn keyboard. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. So we're gonna go to join quest. He said he had an investigation, did he not? Runa Nergigante! Hell yeah! Deep Schnegel? <laughs> that definitely sounds like a German word. Is that a German word? Look that up. Schnegel. German to English. Deep slug, that's what it means. <laughs> Deep schnegel. Man, it's hot in here. I think I turned my AC off. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go turn it on. What are you doing over there, kid? Oh, it already is on. I'm just hot. Maybe it's because I eat so much hot sauce. You guys like hot sauce? I need a truckload of hot sauce. I like hot sauce, I like jalapenos. I guess not much. I don't like it to be much spicier than jalapeno, but damn do I like jalapeno. I put jalapeno in like all my food. My wife doesn't like it. <laughs> my cats don't like it. They're like, oh, you put jalapeno in this? We can't eat it. This is fine. Let's throw in a stir jer Oh, yeah, a stir jerky. I got that right. What set am I running? Indeed. I need to show that off. Give me one moment. Well done, 
Well done, pard. We're on the hunt. No, I don't want to leave. Does she have a quest for me or not? By the way, I'm ready. Lord Killerath says spicy food for life. You know, I was reading this um, analysis of spicy food and evolutionary biologists think that in hotter climates, people used, because in the, our, in the past, our, our ancestors, they didn't have refrigeration. And so one of the reasons they think that humans enjoy spicy food is because in the past, our ancestors mixed regular food with uh, food that had spicy, you know, chemicals in it, right? It's all chemicals. And those spicy chemicals would keep the food preserved slightly, right? Like it would, uh, I, I suppose it was a way of keeping the food preserved and killing some bacteria. Because I guess some bacteria actually gets killed by spicy, uh, I don't remember the words for it. But yeah, so they think that, especially in hotter climates where food spoiled more easily, you found that people enjoy spicier food out there because their ancestors were using uh, uh you know that that hot spiciness to uh, keep their food safer to eat so yeah I, I thought that was really interesting i had a different theory i thought that maybe maybe food was so bland and gross that spiciness was one way to make the food taste more appetizing especially if you're living in a very poor region right um and your food's not going to taste good when i put hot sauce on something it just it tastes good. It just adds so much flavor to it. So I, I thought maybe it could be what those guys are talking about. Maybe it's a little bit of a mix. You know, maybe people just enjoy the flavor. But I think that hot food, hot spiciness, it numbs your mouth, right? It's so hot that it ruins your taste buds a little bit. And then you don't really taste the grossness of the food underneath. So if there's something you don't like about a flavor underneath, let's say it's seafood. I actually love stinky seafood. Some people do not, though. And if you were to take hot sauce... Oh! Oh my gosh, I left my volume all the way up. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much, dear Anthony. Let's update the Cat Girl Research Fund. David Larson's crazy. I don't know if it's possible. <laughs> Alright. Thank you so much for the donation. I forgot what I was talking about. I got spooked by that loud, uh... I gotta remember to check my laptop volume before we get started. <laughs> Imagine if uh, somebody had done like a curse word there or something like that or said something really promiscuous in a message. It just would have like shouted from my laptop. So yeah, I need to uh, <laughs> I need to keep a better watch on my, <laughs> my my laptop volume before we start. Dave Larson, Safari Dave. You're one of the biggest contributors, T.R. Anthony. You were like, uh, I think you were the most... For one of the months, it was, uh, was it last month? I think you were the most generous last month. I can't remember. Might have been last month, yeah. Oh, of course we dodged that guy. Bye. Let's get this guy. Don't do it, Nurgy Guard. Oh, look at him. He's going for it. You know what? I need that cool drink because I don't have health regen anymore. Oh, right. Flint Shot. God, man. Flint Shot and Clutch Claw have changed the game so much. You just can't play like you used to. Now you have to do all this other stuff. Like, you have to. It's so valuable. It used to be you just take your hammer and do some hammer stuff. Now it's like, did you Clutch Claw him? Oh, you didn't? You don't get to do as much damage then. Still debating how I feel about it. Clutch Claw's fun. That's the... That's the saving grace of Clutch Claw. If Clutch Claw was not even fun, then it would be... A, I think it would be a serious problem. But lucky for Capcom, the Clutch Claw actually does feel fun. Still though, sometimes I just want to play with my hammer and not think about it. I try to roll it. I was talking about spicy food! That's right! So, I was saying that... Um, I was reading this, you know, study that says one of the reasons we eat spicy food is probably because our ancestors used it as a preservative. But I was thinking also probably another reason that they might have been using spicy food is because food just didn't taste that good and you had to eat it. You had to have nutrition. So they might have just numbed their mouths up with the spiciness of the food. That was my uh, other suspicion. You know what I mean? Like if you're just going to eat some, some animal lard or something, something that would give you like some energy. Oh, that's so much easier than the dive bomb. Oh, you're going to be okay over there? Io. Run, Io! <laughs> yep, 
You, you, what's valuable? Your mama. I think you meant to say, you know what's valuable? Your mama. Oh, and he's off to the next area. Try sir and or miss. What? <laughs> well, let's grab these Nergigante materials real fast. <laughs> White flag. Is he exhausted? He can't be exhausted. That's not a good idea. Not right in front of me. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yep. Alright, let's get that temporal mantle going. That's my trick, guys. I take a little bit of damage before putting on the temporal mantle. I was like, over here! Oh, right, so we can knock him into a wall. Dang, dude, you know, I'm not into that right now. My brain's not thinking, how many times can I run this monster into a wall? My brain's just wanting to play with the hammer. But it's like, it's so important now that you have to think that way. That's, that's disappointing. I don't know, man. I don't always want to think about how soon can I slam his head into a wall. Boink. See? There we go. He's gonna get KO'd pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna finish Big Bang. It started too late. Oh, nice. Was that a second wall, whatever you call it? Flint shot? Dude, flint shot's too strong. Look at that, we caused him to flinch. Another KO. Not surprised, I mean, he's got... He's got the rapid fire KO ammo, and I got my big bang coming out. There we go. Alright, maybe we can get him under this, over this uh, lava real fast. Let's go ahead and sharpen up. Love for him to come over here. Well, he sort of did. Eh, he didn't really. <laughs> wow, how did my Temporal Mantle break so fast? He's got some crazier moves now, doesn't he? Those slide attacks are really confusing. Because they're really new looking. Oh, what is going on? See, like, I don't really know what each of those moves does. Look, he's moving so fast. Like, Jesus. I'm not going to run toward him. I'm going to run toward Ao. He's in trouble. That's Ao. Come on. Come on. Give me the KO. Whoa! Does it show who he's going for? Not me, I guess. Oh! Oh, what happened? What the frick? <laughs> Somehow it hit me anyways? I, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I still gotta learn his moveset. I honestly do. He, yeah, he's ready to be thrown into a wall. That's exactly what I was thinking. I thought I rolled that one. Alright, let's see if I can do this without getting interrupted by anyone. Oh, I got interrupted by him. He roared. Alright, nice job everyone. So far, the, uh, you know, the acidic glavinous hammer is really not feeling too bad with the sharpness. You lose your purple, and then you go through your white, um, and then you sharpen. 
And if you've got protective polish, it's not such a big deal. This build is not even really finished. It's not a perfectly efficient version of what I could do because I don't have all the armor and I don't have all the decorations yet. So it's really not bad. I can see people not feeling like sharpening their weapon, but I mean, there's certainly the opportunity to do it. Oh, that hurts. You know what? Let's get them up here under these rocks, guys. What are we doing? Let's get them under the rocks. He's close, but I'm not going to drop that boulder. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, good job. Oh, it didn't knock him over. I'm surprised. Well, that's one of the boulders. Let's check out the other one. Nice job. Oh, interesting. Look, we're not getting weak spot damage at all. He must have black spikes on his head. The new Runa Nergigante is a little confusing because you can't always tell exactly when he has black spikes. I'm still trying to figure that out. I mean, I'm sure there is a way to know. I just don't, I haven't figured it out myself, is what I'm saying. What, did he just, like, swim at me? <laughs> Here's our rock steady. Victor Antonio says, use a light bow gun. We could use a light bow gun. Light bow gun is great, by the way. They, the the uh, double sticky ammo on the Devil Joe weapon is really nice. Oh, right, we can sharpen, see? So you get a lot of openings to sharpen your weapon. You really do. Take it from here, ladies and gentlemen. Grab onto that head. Go ahead and weaken that head. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, interesting. So even though it showed that he had the non-enragement, the yellow, whatever, he actually was not enraged. I'm in trouble. Oh! <laughs> Doesn't that move make you think of uh, Valstrax? That move makes me think of Valstrax. That's okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Did you see how far I went? Yeah, so interesting. Even though the enragement is yellow, he's not actually flinchable. Flinch shotable. On this temporal mantle. Oh, you're in trouble now. You're exhausted. Oh. No bombs put down by game economist. Ah, you know, it's like 400 damage. I was lazy. I don't really. This is just an investigation. This isn't like, you know, extreme behemoth or anything, right? Nice job. A funny way to go, isn't it? Thrown into a wall by the OP flint shot. Damn, dude. I was supposed to work on my flint shot guide last night, but I got interrupted and instead worked on the patch notes. You guys might have seen that already. I've released a video of all the patch notes for update 10.12. Annihilating great horn. Wow, that's so annihilating. I feel annihilated. Wow, that's a lot of uh good, 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 good. Thank you for posting that, AO. You know, if you want to repost it, I'll just join back up. We'll just run him again. I probably don't have all the parts I need. I think I needed a uh, a gem, too, didn't I? I needed some kind of gem. Flint shot is a good addition, but you just seem to complain about it. Why? Oh, I think that flint shot's really strong. Uh, I think that I think that flint shot is really strong, and I think that flint shot is really cool. However, 
It's all about getting to do what you want to do, you know, like playing the way that fits your play style. And maybe I don't feel like using the flint shot, right? And and you're going to say, well, you don't have to. But I'm going to say, you kind of you kind of have to because it's not balanced. The flint shot is stronger than my hammer. It just, it really it is. You know, it gives a knockdown, does like boulder style damage, you know, if you dropped a boulder on the monster. Uh, so no matter what, you're supposed to be flint shotting, especially on a team, I would say. And... You know, maybe I just don't want to do flint shot. Maybe I just want to focus on my hammer. And you don't really have that option now if you want to play correctly, I guess. I don't know if that's the right term. You know, you could say, oh, you just play, do whatever you want. It's like, yeah, I could um, I could just have my palico do all the damage and just sit back with the kinsect. But, you know, if you're actually trying to kill a monster fast, you're going to be using flint shot now. That's why. It's, it's not as much of a complaint as much as it is an observation. Like I said, the redeeming quality of the flint shot and the clutch claws that they actually are fun. But it's just like, I think sometimes I miss only playing with my hammer and being really good with the hammer rather than being really good at flint shot. Let's go ahead. Oh, wait. We're waiting for the other guy to post it, aren't we? More hammer, come on. <laughs> Depending on how you read that, it could sound like a complaint or a excitement. More hammer, come on. Or more hammer, come on. See? Two different versions of it. That's why you can't... It's hard to be sarcastic or whatever over the internet because it doesn't always carry. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We're joining. Available quests. Investigations. Runer, Nergigante. Flint shot is not needed, nor OP. Are you smoking crack, Willie? <laughs> Flint shot's not OP. It just deals 2,000 damage and gives you a knockdown on the monster. Dude, you're crazy, man. It is so strong. It is absolutely OP. And when the monster stands back up, you can do it a second time in a row. Are you kidding me? Two knockdowns in a row that don't cause, like, you know, they don't cause KO. It doesn't cause you to lose an ailment. It doesn't cause you to lose boulders in the room. Dude, it is very OP. Uh, you have to you have to do the you have to stop and kind of think about the outcome, not just the damage of running the monster into the wall, which is somewhere between a thousand and two thousand, right? It's not just that, it's the damage your teammates do while he's down, right? So let's say true charge slash from the great sword is dealing one thousand damage, right? And you got three players with the great sword, and you knock the monster into the wall, and let's say you don't Let's say you do zero extra damage to the monster, so you're out of the equation. So you've dealt your 2,000, but you've caused that knockdown. Those three Greysword players are going to deal another 3,000 damage together. That's crazy. It's a lot of damage. That's why when they were doing the developer notes, did you notice they talked about how they actually nerfed the Assassin's Creed mantle because they were saying it was giving players a knockdown and they considered that too strong? Think about it. They did. Why are these guys all excited? What do they got to say? Okay, let's go ahead and ready up. Everyone's waiting for me. It's it's somewhere between a thousand and two thousand. It depends because the uh, damage that it does scales for how many people are on your team is exactly the way a boulder works. So if you do it by yourself, you're gonna get like, you know, somewhere between three hundred and five hundred damage from running them into the wall. If you do it on a team of four, it's gonna be like between a thousand and two thousand. Anthony Tran says, "Does damage from the flint shot count solely as damage to the head?" That's a great question. I suspect it does. That's how I would have it designed. B. Crow says, Flint Shot isn't that abusive. I think because of how often the monster enrages now, if I could ever get any Agitator Gems, I would think that I would take that skill all the time. Yeah, imagine that too, guys. Like, you just go grab your Agitator and you're set. <laughs> get the bonus from Agitator, you get the knockdown, you get the damage from the, the uh, slamming him into the wall. It's all there. It's all there. Old footprint. Wow, that footprint's so old. Oh, it looks like I really haven't collected any footprints for this guy, huh? Any tips on beating Black Veil Hazak? I can't believe people were even having trouble with them. The first time I beat Black Veil Hazak was on my PlayStation 4, and I beat him without upgrading any of my armor. I was still using my Draken armor set, and I beat him without... Uh, a f oh, did I? I'm trying to remember now. No, actually, I think I'd upgraded to a different armor set by then. I'm sorry. But one thing I didn't do is I didn't use... Right, right, right. I didn't use any effluvial resist. I just I just ran him not knowing I was going to run into him. 
and I didn't have a fluvial resist on because of that. And I think I had at that point swapped over to some really kind of like early master rank armor pieces, but they're not that strong, right? And then I just got him on the first try. He didn't seem that different. He's just, he, what does he do? He like backs up and blows some smoke in your face. If you just heal a lot, he doesn't get you. And don't get hit, obviously don't get hit by any of his easy. Look at this, man. Right away. Let's go ahead and weaken him. I can see the, um, the Gashalaka in the background there. That hurts. That hurts my feelings too. Alright. Don't do it. Don't do it, Nergi. Let's go ahead and get over here. We're going to go ahead and put on the Temporal Mantle. Come on, guys. There's some Gajalakas over here. There we go. Now you can go crazy. Time for that big damage, guys. He's got KO right after this. Come on, give us that KO. goes. Alright, and now we're going to ledge hop him, right? Okay, I think that whole thing missed me. What's the actual hitbox for that then? He's ready to be knocked into a wall again already. You see that, guys? It's OP. Tell me flinch shot's not OP. I'm not going to believe you. I think I just faced him away from the wall. I did! Oh, but he still hit! <laughs> pick this up. You know why I pick it up? Because flinch shot. That's why. Flinch shot's super important. Shots not OP. He just oh my god, how did that Big Bang even miss? Big Bang's supposed to have that little extra hitbox to it. <laughs> do you have a vid on camera settings for the game on PC? I certainly do not. I have no comment on that. I am not the guy you're looking for. I don't have that expert information on camera settings. Let's go ahead and reset the damage part on his head. I don't know how long it lasts. It doesn't last that long though, I noticed. I was kind of lucky. Let's go ahead and put on our... Oh! There we go. Let's have this stare jerky real fast. Don't lose more health than we have to. Second mount. Nice job. Need me a freak like that. <laughs> Funny, Alana. Doo 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 doo, Scooby doo, doo doo ba doo ba doo. He got knocked himself over. One, two. We're gonna break these spikes off easy. <laughs> oh, the arm, huh? All right, so he is ready to be run into a wall again. I mean, it's, it's just crazy. He's got him. Yeah, he's got him. 
climbing down so I can charge my hammer. That's gonna give me affinity sliding. That's KO. Hopefully Alana doesn't touch me by accident. Oh, something touched me. Darn it. Too early on my roll, really. Burr, burr, burr. How did that not reach? The amount of damage plus the knockdown makes it a bit OP. It is OP as hell, dude. It's not even a question. It is OP as hell. If you're not flint shotting the monster, then what the heck are you doing with your life? You've seen it. It's so ridiculous. It comes back too fast. That's the problem. You should be allowed to flint shot a monster no more than twice the entire fight, in my opinion. Otherwise, it's just too strong. Come on over, sexy. Come on, baby mama. Ah, we hit his back leg. He's so fast now. He's going to sleep. Come on. <laughs> oh no, that sticky ammo, wake up. Sometimes you can't do anything about it. Sometimes you fire that sticky ammo. I mean, the best way, if you really want to make sure your sleep gets in, especially if somebody's using Sticky, you kind of got to tell the, the Sticky Ammo player ahead of time not to shoot anymore, because you, otherwise you're going to accidentally wake him up. Ah, uh, darn, he's not going to be... Oh, he turned him three times? Dude. Flint shot isn't OP. It's balanced. Fair and balanced. Oh, apparently I'm the worst at this, because my Big Bang mixed again. They're missed again. Just turning my hammer card right now. Don't deserve to have it. Look at that! It missed again! Did they nerf the... the I think they nerfed the uh, hitbox for the Big Bang. Those would have been hits that I would expect to have landed in the past, because you could, like... You know, you could kind of miss the head a little bit, and it would still land. I don't know what the deal with that is. He's out of here. I want to see if I can grab the tail at all. Oh, you can. Yes, you can. Now, the backwards roll has a much longer recovery to it. It's fair and it's balanced. One shot is not OP. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Ouch. You. I mean, it does send him into enragement. I have to agree with that part at least. I noticed that yesterday, that if you're going to flint shot him multiple times, he will go right into enragement. Somebody even mentioned though, with the agitator skill, that might be a good thing. You might just constantly get your damage. Your bonus damage from the agitator skill, because you're constantly enraging him right away. I wanted it. Have you tried Greatsword ever since Iceborne dropped? Yeah, we played some Greatsword. I got a, I got the um, Bone Greatsword. Wait, I thought I saw some spikes. Were there not? Am I going crazy? I must be going crazy. I ain't running. Riding in there in style. My Gastodon. What the frick? Get going, man. What are you, like, tired? He knows where to go. Oh, it's got to be a glitch or something. Look at this guy. Oh, my God. You failed, Gastodon. That was awful. <laughs> he was just standing there. If Hammer was OP, it wouldn't be 5% of the player base. No, that's not true, actually. Um, we knew that the... We knew that the... I don't think that's going to hit. It hit, the, it hit the barrel. Killed him anyways. Um... We knew that the cluster bombs on the heavy bowgun was OP, and the heavy bowgun 
typically scored under the hammer, or, or at least very close, but underneath it. So yeah, just just being strong isn't the only selling point for a weapon. I think that a weapon has to be uh, strong, but it also has to be fun. You know what I mean? So just being strong isn't enough. Cluster bomb, heavy bowgun, that should have been number one weapon if you want to talk about strong weapons, because it was so easy. All you did was temporal mantle, rock steady mantle, and you could kill everything very quickly. Now, that doesn't mean it reached the very highest DPS Greatsword did, but then Greatsword wasn't at the top either. It was Longsword forever, and Longsword's not the fastest weapon. Longsword was the weebiest weapon. What do you think of that? Probably the Longsword made people feel cool, which is what you should be aiming for when you design a weapon. I, I Dant Fearbro says, Clusters hit your teammates. Now, this is true. But if you're going to farm solo, which is probably the fastest way to farm anything, you would still use Cluster Bomb. And, and you would expect the clusters, let's say that multiplayer was affecting the rank of the Cluster Bombs, right? Let's say you're right. But then you would still kind of expect it to rank higher up anyways. You would expect it to rank in the top five at least because of how much damage it did. Nerf flint shot, Capcom. <laughs> I think that flint shot should stay the way it is, but you should probably only be able to use it about two times per fight. Otherwise, you just focus on... It, it's too strong. It it it, it becomes a uh, flint shot meta where you don't worry about your... You, you worry about your weapon, but you worry more about whether it's time to flint shot. You know what I mean? Humongous says, my mains are longsword, charge blade, and heavy bowgun, but I've been playing Monster Hunter so long, I could do pretty much all of them. Alright. Ishvalda appeared. Crowan's like, I have Shara, Shara Ishvalda. I have Shara Ishvalda as well. We need uh, Nurgi again. We'll do Nurgi a third time, if he's got it, if he's got the uh, investigation. Keyboard is so bad. Val says, I'm so jealous. You just got a fortify attack boost. I think I already had one, though. Jake says, Flint shot should just be reduced in effectiveness. Well, I don't know if I agree with that, because if you weaken it, then people just aren't going to want to use it, probably. But I think just reducing how many times you can do it is more important. Like, think about it. Boulders, you know? Everyone uses boulders because it's so fun to get at high damage on the, on the uh, boulder drop. But if you were to just remove all the boulders from the fight entirely, then I feel like that would actually be kind of sad. Thought on the new monster announced for December? Have they announced the monster? Do you mean the monster that they say is going to be revealed? Or are you saying they have revealed the monster? Because that's two very different... <laughs> If they've revealed a monster, I'm going to log out right now and go make a freaking video, man. People are like, tell us about the new monster. Let's see, they've announced a new monster, and it's going to be a new monster. Let's go ahead and have the Chef's Choice platter. Arch-tempered monsters will probably have a flint shot limit, just like flashes. True, that is a good point. They don't need to necessarily nerf flint shot. Maybe they just introduce monsters that are kind of immune to it. I mean, just the fact that you can, just the fact that you can, um, what's the word? I can't think of it. Just the fact that, it's just how many times you can use it. It's just too many times, in my opinion. If you were to reduce the damage on the move, it just wouldn't be as fun. All right. Kongalala, that's right. I'm with I'm with HM. We need Kongalala, guys. Carito says, can you show your build? Yes, we will show the build uh, after we lo lo uh, load into the uh, map. Francisco says, hey, game economist, how's it going, man? <laughs> oh, right. I remember what I was going to say earlier now. I was going to say... Even just the number of times you're allowed to turn the monster in order to run them into the wall makes it too good of a move. They should make it so that you can only turn the monster 90 degrees once, and then after that you have to use the flint shot or the monster will not allow you to flint shot, you know? 
You could turn the monster like three times. It's too easy. It's like you have too much control. Too freaking easy. You fricks. When will you learn? When will you learn that your actions have consequences? Let's go ahead and grab this. God, that kid's a legend. How about the queen bug? Yeah, I don't think we'll get any bugs. I, I get the feeling they're not interested in adding bugs to the game. I think if they wanted to add bugs, they could have, and they could have done it in Iceborne at launch. And since they haven't done it at launch, I strongly suspect they just won't do it. What do you think about the clockwork armor set? Uh, it looks very cool. I can't remember what the set bonus skill on it is, though. Get in there, Trail Raider. What do we want? Don't do it. All right, there he goes. 1,300 damage, guys. Come on. You're telling me that's not not OP? Now look, now I'm going to go into my big bang too. Well, he interrupted the big bang, but you're telling me that's not OP? Come on, give me a break. We just dealt like 3,000, 4,000 damage for sure. Oh, did not expect that. Don't do it! Oh, dang, he actually hit me with the move. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, I'm a nice boy. Alright, we're fine. He left us some materials, too. Eternal regrowth plate. Can we break these spikes? Does that still knock him over? I'm pretty sure it does. Doesn't it? It does. There it goes. He's knocked over. I was just asking, and we broke it. I noticed me and the uh, longsword player kind of targeted the tail at the same time, and so that was going to get enough damage on the tail spikes that we could pop potentially break it. See, in multiplayer, you need your teammates to cooperate with you to get that break. That's okay. We got our temporal mantle on still. Poor Alana, though. A lot of no! Hope you have flint shot. He's ready to be flint shotted! You know what that means, guys? It means I don't have any pods. Let's jump off of him. Show me a pod. Oops, 1300 damage, everyone. It's not OP, it's fair and balanced. Oh my god, I missed another big bang, I'm just bad. It's fair and it's balanced. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, it's my sassy black woman. Uh-huh, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh look, I was going for another one, get it up. Oh, oh, oh. He's paralyzed. I think he ran out of smacks, though. On the second smack, you kind of have to let it go. We're going to get another KO soon if we're, we get enough damage going. Ah, darn. Do I have time to sheep? And oh, you don't have time to sheep. So his new, his new ult, or whatever you want to call it, right? It comes out so fast that you don't have enough time to sheath your weapon and dive. So you just kind of have to be ready to iframe through it. What do you think they will do with Kulf Taroth weapons? I think they will probably re-release Kulf Taroth and you will be able to use those weapons as like, I don't know, a chance for the new weapons or there will be some sort of upgrade or something like that and you'll expend the old hammer or the old weapons hammers because I'm thinking of the Terror of the Sleep. All right, we don't want to mess with that. Hold on. Let's start off with the heal. 
Going to a stair jerky. Let's bring him over here. He's a... Oh, I thought it was on his head. I guess I wasn't. Alright, yep, let's get him under the boulder, I agree. All those knockdowns from the flint shot, we haven't even used our boulders in this fight. Falling boulders. How about that, guys? How about that? I don't think that was hitting him on the head, I think I was hitting him on the legs. That's gonna interrupt us. Yep, because Rocksteady's dead. Whoa, did you see that? Oh, and it still hit me. Okay. I can see how that move is dangerous now. It's all about It's all about where he uses it from. You could have tried to sleep him under the boulders, by the way. If you're gonna put him to sleep now, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, if you're gonna put him to sleep now, I should have gone for the boulders. But I ain't complaining. Ooh, I want that. Get that good 100% affinity going. Boink. Better shoot those barrels off. Oh, it still hit me. Oh my god, you gotta roll both parts of it. teammates trying to save me here <laughs> so there's the ult now you can't just put your weapon away you can't just cheat and dodge it now it comes out so fast that he's very likely going to oh my god ah oh, it didn't hit him either that's too bad he is ready to be knocked into a wall let's get that out ouch apparently not It's like he's enraged, but he's not. He's like powered up or something. Quan fainted. That sucks. He is so much like Valstrax. Tell me Valstrax is not coming to the game, you guys. Valstrax is so in the game. They have the Valstrax moveset. I would bet my left nut that Valstrax is coming, guys. I'm betting you guys a hundred dollars right now. I will give a hundred dollars to a random person if we don't get Valstrax. Probably my wife. I'll just give it to her. She's a random person. No, come on, guys. He's got the Valstrax like dash attack. It's exactly what that move is. When he like slides over with his wings on the ground, that's Valstrax. I I suppose it is possible for them to be like, well, we've got the move set. We're just borrowing the move set though. So it's possible for them to be doing that and not wanting to actually bring him into the game. Oh, nice. Valstrax is so in, so obvious. I knew it the moment, the moment Ishvalda had the, uh, the Everworm, the part where he's still covered in the rock, right? When I saw him use that, oh, it tricked me. I thought the spikes were coming out on the front. They were coming out on the sides. So when you fight Everworm and he's covered in the rocks, you guys noticed, you probably did, that he's got the same move that Valstrax has where he jabs his wings at you, right? You know what I'm talking about? It's when he takes his wing and he jets it forward. This, he only uses it when he's uh, covered in rock. He doesn't use it when he's in his naked form. So when he's got the rock armor, he jabs you with the wings. That's a Valstrax move. It's like copy and paste. That's all they did with that move. Directly copy and pasted it from Valstrax. And then... With Arch or with Ruin or Nergigante, the move where he slides on the ground with both wings down, that looks exactly like Valstrax when he rockets back and forth. Come on, guys. It's so obvious. Give me your liver if Valstrax isn't in. Done deal. You got it, man. That's the that's the bet. He gets my liver if I'm wrong. I, I can I can tell it's it's possible for them to not have it. Okay, it is still possible. They could just be like, all right, guys, we need some new moves. What do we do? And they could be like, what if we just borrow some of the Valstrax moves? 
right? Because they got they don't have to bring the monster over. They could just be borrowing the move set. But come on, man. When they usually work on a move set like that, it's because they actually have the monster in and they're they're actually borrowing it from a monster already in the game. Yeah. I noticed the very first time I fought Everworm, I had uh I, I wanted to leak so bad the Everworm's wing poke attack, because I was like Fast track's so gonna be in this game, right? I wanted to tell people because it was the moment I saw that it was so recognizable too. It's like, oh, that's the uh, that's the Valstrax wing poke. And then here we have Rune and Nergigante using basically the dash attack of Valstrax. That's the that's that dash attack where Valstrax rockets back and forth. It's the same. Uh, he's in the same position. His body, little compact body with the wings down. It doesn't even look right on on Nergigante, right? It doesn't even make sense on him. How would he have so much mobility from that, you know? But it made sense on Valstrax because he was using rockets. Oh, I'm out of a stair jerky? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me, man. Get off of me, go I'll go for my teammate. Rocket power, gray sword upgrade. That's exactly what I think, man. Okay, so he wasn't. We we weren't able to knock him into the wall from that. You know, when I played GU, there were a few fights that were really special. Valstrax was one of them, and. Uh, they already seem so good at picking the other really good fights out of the game. Valstrax was one of the really good fights. What are the odds that Valstrax is in? I think if I was Capcom, I would seriously be looking at Valstrax. They don't need a new skeleton for him. They've clearly moved his moveset into the game. It would just be like a waste if they didn't bring him in. All they need to do is add the texture, basically. There it goes, he got stuck. I would make that video, but be careful to not get demonetized again. What? What video? Oh, the one talking about Valstrax coming into the game? I didn't actually, uh, I didn't act actually make a video on that. I just wanted to talk about it, but I, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to leak or anything like that. This guy's so dead. You're so dead, Nergy Farty. Come on. Too close? Nope. Oh, interesting. It dropped me off. Not allowed to hold on when he's using that move. Shut up! <laughs> 568 from that hop, man. That's a lot of damage. 568. Let's go ahead and carve him up. Just wondering, is Maxima Might still good skill for Hammer? No, it is not, unless you have Max Might Secret. Uh, but I doubt that you want to build Max Might Secret for your hammers. My bet is that you're going to want to build Crit I-7 and Weakness Exploit 3. And then you're probably going to still want to build Master's Touch with the Tur- uh, the Nur- uh, the Turgigante. The Teostra set. Yeah, that is my bet. Master's Touch is still going to be a valuable skill. It won't be as strong as it used to be, but it's still going to be valuable. Why bully me? Remember my Discord name. What? Guilermo says you think you get demonetized a lot because of the music copyright. Uh, no, I don't know what causes the uh, demonetization. I really don't. Wyvern Ignition Collision is going to be the upgrade. It rhymes and sounds sick. <laughs> Rashu says I have the Shari Ishvala quest if you want to do it now. Thank you, man. Oh, there we go. We got the we got the upgrade. That was the large Elder Dragon gem that we needed. Sweet. 
Oh, you know what time it is, guys. It's time to build that Nergi Farty, that Poopigante hammer. Poopigante hammer. God dang, dude. The neighbor's freaking dogs. Uh, his dog's right in my backyard taking a shit in my backyard. God, man. I wish I could put a sign up that just said, keep your dog out of here. I don't even want to see that, man. <sighs> That's why I don't have a dog. <laughs> I don't mind dogs, but it's just like, if you're going to have a dog, like, don't cost, don't have the dog affect your neighbor's. Oh, man. It's so dumb. I don't know what to do about it. I can complain to you guys about it live, but it doesn't really fix the problem now, does it? Neighbor's just like, oops. Guess my dog shit in your yard. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. No more complaining. Let's go ahead and build that Nergi, Nergi Farty Hammer. I gotta say the name right. Upgrade. Obliteration's Footfall. Sounds like Obliteration's Football, doesn't it? All right, here we go. Look at that. It's nastier looking, isn't it? You don't want to get hit by that. Thank you so much, Io, for providing those... Uh, investigations. We were getting them done pretty fast. So with this hammer, the build will be very different. We won't care at all about building sharpness or uh, speed sharpening or uh, what's the last one? The last one would be protective polish. We don't care about any of those. We don't even build elementless with this hammer. So we've got a whole bunch of open slots for it. Let's go ahead and remove the layered armor. Alright. We don't care about equipment that has white sharpness, or handicraft either, see? So, uh, a lot of these pieces of armor, we added them because of their white sharpness. I was like, no problem. I'm curious about the Raytheon set. Wait, wait, wait. It's Golden Loon. I keep forgetting this. I would be interested in building the Golden Loon set. Looks like we're missing some gold Raytheon parts. I have to fight gold Raytheon. Look at this coil, man. Divine Blessing 3. And it would give me the upgrade for Divine Blessing... C I mean, you could just build these two right here. And get the Divine Blessing secret. Oh, man. I need so many more parts for that. We'll, we'll be looking at that in the future. So it's not just about building the best hammers. We need to be able to unlock all of the armor sets. Maybe I am still a bit, a bit far away from doing end game builds for the hammers. Maybe we'll make like videos on early game builds for the hammers for now. I've got so many videos to make guys. I seriously do. I mean, this live stream alone, uh, is, it takes two hours of my day. That could have been toward another video, but you know, I got to play too. That's the other thing. So we got to keep going. So let's see, Zenogre set, latent power, Garuga set, the ton of crit eye. <laughs> Zora set with artillery secret. Shara Ishvala with true guy's veil, uh, veil. While wearing a mantle, gain tremor resist, earplugs 5, max windproof, and flinch free. This is such an interesting set, guys. People don't talk about this, but this is basically going to turn your mantle into rock steady, right? Look at it. Tremor resist, level 3, earplugs 5, max windproof, and flinch free. So if you were to take something like your fireproof mantle and wear a full set of the Shara Ishvalda set, you've now got two Rocksteady mantles. You can wear your actual Rocksteady mantle, but then also your Fire Resistance mantle, and this is going to last a long time, and you have the effects of Rocksteady. It would make your... I mean, you probably... Would you even take Rocksteady at that point? You'd probably take a different mantle, because you're giving it the status... You'd, you're giving it the effects of a Rocksteady mantle. So probably, you, you know, let's say I'm using the hammer. I would probably do something like, uh, I don't know, Ice Resistance and... Maybe the slugger. Yeah, maybe the slugger mantle. It's just crazy. Just crazy to think about, really. By the way, what does this full set give us? That's the beta. Crit eye, health boost, recovery up, crit boost, coalescence. Temporarily enhances attacks after recovering from blights or abnormal status. Okay. Defense boost, part breaker. We will play around with this. It seems like a defensive kind of uh, armor set. 
Imagine the Shara set with Tool Specialist. Ooh, woo, exactly. Tool Specialist and uh, maybe that that hunting horn that prolongs the use of items. Kieran, Kushala, Teostra. So this is the set I'm really interested in, actually. They really want you to have Blast, though, don't they? Black Veil, Hazak. Super Recovery is still the same? Yeah, it is. Still a cool set. Oh, it only requires two pieces of the set now? Oh, I did not notice that before. Oh, damn, that's so cool. So wait, you would probably build... Well, a Fluvia Resist when you're fighting Val. And then probably Recovery Speed. I mean, you could do Recovery Up. You wouldn't necessarily do Peak Performance. Damn, that's cool as hell, man. It's the gut set on Seething Basil Guse. Kind of a tongue twister there, isn't it? The Damascus set. We already know all about that. Dober, Black Belt, Brute Tigrix. Tigrix, Tigrix, Krakatoa. Okay. All right. Ghost Smuggler says, Neighbor's little dog used to take his morning shits in my lawn every day. Neighbor denied it and said it was my dog. I let my Roddy greet the dog one day and it never came back to take a shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's annoying. I don't... This is a really, really lovely neighborhood my wife and I like to go for walks in. And uh, we do that to get some exercise. And I don't know, man. We run into people's dog crap all the time. And all we can think is like, wow, even in this nice, wealthy neighborhood, they're not able to stop people from letting their dogs crap in each other's lawn. It's obvious the dog's crap's not supposed to be there, right? There will be signs up all over the place like, don't let your dog take a crap in the lawn. And they just do. They just let them do it. I don't... <laughs> How do you stop them? How do you tell them, like, geez, I know it's not fun picking up dog crap. Don't get a dog if you don't like picking up dog crap, then. Simple. Easy. Don't affect other people's lives. It's a very important. Very important to me. If you can't take care of your poopy dog, don't get a dog. Simple. Let's see, what do we got here? Crit Eye, 6 Health Boost, Crit Boost, Weakness Exploit, Divine Blessing, Master Charm, 3. Let's go ahead and take that off for now. All right, guys, we're putting together a suboptimal build. We don't have all of the pieces of armor that we need to put together a crazy build, but we're gonna put this together. We're gonna go into the we're gonna go into the guiding lands. We're gonna unlock Silver Rathalos and the Coral Highlands, and then we're going to farm him up a few times, hopefully. And after we've done that, we will. Oh, right, these are level four. Here, let's drop this. After we've farmed him up a bit. Uh, we will move on to upgrading the Wild Spire Waste and the Guiding Lands so that we can get the Raytheon armor and weapons, of which are very, very powerful. They're just really good, right? So we have Crypt Boost, Weakness Exploit, Crit Eye 3 right now. We could actually have Crit Eye 6. Let's take a look at our Affinity. Affinity is at 15%. We are going to be building Crit Eye in the Charm Slot. That's the big change, isn't it? You, get, you build Crit Eye rather than Maximum Might. Crit Eye became like the new meta for small decoration slots. That's what happened. Ooh, but you know, hold on, do I have, I've got this expert jewel. Let's take this out, we're gonna build attack instead. Here we go, attack boost. Because we're so close to attack boost four. And attack boost four will give us another 5% affinity. So we got three of these actually. So there we go, we got the Fortitude Attack Boost bringing us up to Attack Boost 4. Um, we got two more slots of uh, Crit Eye to build, huh? Let's see, what else can we build here? What do we got so far? This build's looking very solid, but I'm trying to think, what should I build next? Maybe Brace? So if we're going to play on a team, Brace is actually a good idea. Unless I have a good Brace decoration over here. Let's check. Brace Protection. <laughs> Brace maintenance. What else do I have though for the Ice Dragon Antidote Steadfast Tiptoe Intimidator Mire Walker Enduring Artillery Fortitude Refresh Slider Oh sl Oh right we want flight we want flight there we go flight attack jewel It would have been nice to have built slider wouldn't it have but actually what's our affinity looking like? 
30%? Yeah, slider would be nice, wouldn't it? Because right now, even if we're hitting a, a weak spot, our, we're only hitting it for 80% affinity. I'm actually going to drop one level of crit boost. I well, I mean, we could get rid of the brace jewel. Let's get rid of the brace jewel. We're going to build a uh, slider. Can you believe it? Actually, let's see if we have a... Um... No, we're going to have to build it this way, yeah. So, where's my slider? Slider's real good now, by the way, and it is kind of like... It's one of those skills that's kind of exclusive to a few weapons, especially the hammer. The hammer takes advantage of affinity sliding so well. It's crazy. We got these two over here. We could put attack boost in and finish off attack boost, but actually I think crit eye would be smarter, would it not? Let's check our affinity. 30. You would get 30% more from affinity sliding if it activates. Yeah, so we could have a... Oops, I didn't mean to hit that. We could have two more levels of crit eye here for even more damage. That's 10% more affinity, you know. That could be a lot. Oh, we're missing legs! <laughs> what is going on right now? Hold on. That changes everything. Hold on. Why are we missing the legs? Am I going nuts? I thought it felt kind of sparse, the build. I thought it felt kind of like it was thirsty. I'm like, man, I thought it would have more space on the build. What is going on with me right now? Oh my god. We're like putting this build together. Nobody cares that Affinity Slider is on. Put some pants on. <laughs> Put this back to brace now. <laughs> Actually, let's see if we have any other slider. <laughs> Put some pants on. I just didn't even see it. I really did not. Brace protection. Destroyer vitality. Oh, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What else do we got here? So we got two open slots down here, right? We could put on destroyer, or we could put on slugger. Um, I don't want to bother with flawless. I don't think flawless is good enough unless you have three levels of it. Yeah, that last level gives you an extra 10. There's Agitator, actually. Yeah, let's go Agitator. You know why? Because we often cause the monster to enrage from all the flint shot. Alright, and then finally down here, of course, we're going to go with Protection, which is what we normally do. It's a good idea to have Protection with your Rocksteady. Okay. There we go. Check this build out. Not bad at all. Crit eye, attack boost, health boost, crit boost, weakness exploit. We really don't need Master's Touch on this hammer, which is why I was talking about having it be a utility setup. So what you might build one day, you might build like Divine Blessing Secret from the Raytheon armor set, which I suspect is going to be OP for defense. Um, you might build, I don't know, man. You might build the Ishera Ishvalda setup, and you might have all your mantles turn into Rocksteady. So... Yeah, this is probably going to be your best utility hammer, if I had to guess. Let's go ahead and refresh your items. How much time we got left on the stream? We got a good 40 minutes left? Yeah, we're going to go into the Guiding Glands. On our way, guys. You ready? So before we go, we're going to save this build. Those are outdated. So we have Grinding Mallet here with the 16, 17, and 40% affinity and Elementless. We got Ruinous Obliteration with uh, notably much more sharpness, but it's not even purple sharpness, it's white sharpness, and it has lower attack as well. But you know what? We've just got, I don't know, a little extra with the Agitator. Oh, the, uh, you know, the Agitator will only kick in sometimes, of course, right? But, uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. There's, there's different arguments for each one, isn't it? Oh, we're missing a level of crit boost on Grinding Mallet. There we go, look at that. So technically, I think this hammer is doing better with that crit boost. That crit boost makes a big difference. 5% on your critical hits. It's, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. All right, let's go ahead and post. Let's stop talking about it. We saved the build, right? Also, we want to go into the uh, suicide build. The fortify build. I'm changing this back to the real name. Come on, let's give it the good name. I think I changed it to fortify because I didn't want to be demonetized. Hell yeah. 
Sometimes I just want to kill myself. Oh, we need the right item loadout too for this. Sorry guys, that took forever, didn't it? We are on our way. Hypersion says, join my SOS. I have Silver Raytheon and he is almost dead. Damn it. I just... I just left to the Guiding Lands. Hypersion, I will join your Guiding Lands. We'll see what happens. <sighs> Maybe I won't though. No, Hypersion, I, I really appreciate it, Hypersion. I'm actually going to finish working on my Guiding Lands. I need to level up Ancient Forest. I need to level up uh, the, the Coral Highlands. And, of course, I need to do this because when I stream, we're, we're typically going to be streaming from my gu Guiding Lands. I really do appreciate it, though, man. That's very generous. You know, I suppose if I really needed Silver Rathalos and Gold Raytheon, eventually someone will probably have an investigation of them, is my suspicion. Is there Evade Mantle Plus? Probably. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Did I say Silver Raytheon? I mean Gold Raytheon. Gold Raytheon, Silver Rathalus. Silver and gold. Why did my phone go off? Gmail notification. Did I get a good Gmail? No. <laughs> Boring. Silver Raytheon confirmed. Did you assume my metal? Did you assume my ore type? Dude, that's a loading screen right there. That's, that's how long that loading screen lasts. We don't have any skills, right? Okay, good. Last time, it didn't. we didn't die in two explosions. It was just kind of odd. We're so getting Valstrax, guys. Come on. Give me a break. They've got two of the Valstrax moves already in the game. The dash attack... Look at that! I'm still alive! What is going on? Did something? Did I miss something? Why didn't that kill me? Normally it would. Alright, there we go. I do not know what is going on with that. Now you guys will notice, I am... We, we were doing this yesterday, remember this? We noticed this yesterday. You can commit... Uh, Teostra Bath twice to activate your Fortify. Oh, I think that the uh, Palco's like leaving a little bomb there. I, I just noticed that. So anyways, uh, we were... I didn't know that the... Oh, so when you put down barrel bombs... I didn't know this. The cat will add its own little bomb. That's so freaking cute, dude. I normally never use the uh, Mialatov cocktail, so I didn't know about that. That's new to me. What? Alright, here we are. Ruinous Obliteration. Should have some nuts so damage. Look at that. 1966 and 1100 defense. We could have any skill we want in the game. Think about it for a minute. Slugger might actually be your best option. Yeah, we're going to go with Slugger. I don't really know what else the hammer would benefit from. Maybe Rider. <laughs> Since we'll be using aerials, we could get more mounts, but I don't really know. I don't know how much I care about that. Do we need to lure out a monster, by the way? Am I committing Ubu side? I am, actually. What? I didn't know that. Is it because I died? <laughs> what was that all about? <laughs> Alright, let's see. I mean, I'd lure them out if they were tempered, but they don't look tempered. I was doing the same thing. That's right. Good idea, man. If the whole team does it, think about how much extra damage the whole team will have. And it lasts for like 40 or 50 minutes, something like that, right? Let's go beat up this Kieran. It looks like I need some Kieran experience. Not collected enough Kieran tracks. 
I have to admit, I'm looking forward to not constantly uh, sharpening my weapon. Even if it, it's not really affecting my damage output too much as I move from area to area, having to constantly sharpen like that, it is kind of like annoying. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Good thing we saw that. We didn't trade out our item loadout. We forgot about that. Should probably make a video on that. See, when you guys watch live, you guys get to learn things as I learn them. So often what happens is I learn something important in the game, like this ability to fortify yourself twice before you do anything else in the Guiding Lands, since there's no, you know, there's no like life limit in the Guiding Lands, right? So I learn these kind of things and you learn them with me. And so you get the information first when we're live. But when I'm turning it into an actual video, A, I might actually forget the thing I learned and not teach people about it for a long time, or B, I might not deem it enough content for its own video, so I may never just make a video on it. So you learn all kinds of things in the uh, in the live stream. Send this guy to the right direction. Come on, man, just go over here. What do you think I want to do, man? Get moving. Yeah, bleep blop. I think I just leveled up the Wild Spire Waste. Whoops. <laughs> okay, there's our red pit. That's what we were looking for, because we're going to be running him into a wall, right? Some blue mushroom. All right. That's undoubtedly some Kieran fur. Is he going to walk over to it on his... Yeah, there we go. Nice job. Okay, we're almost done with the footprints on this guy. There we go. Go get him, boy. Hi, ho, silver. Oh, he still wants to pick up tracks. Come on, man. We found him. <laughs> Oh, it's the Tempered Kirin. Even better. I did not notice that. Luring out Garuga will turn it into Scarred Garuga because your forest is level 6. Scarred Garuga doesn't have its own lure. Oh, very interesting. See, that's the other thing that happens in these live streams, guys. You don't just learn from me as we're going. Everyone shares information. It's amazing. This is the best way to play. Right here. Good tip, man. Oh, look, here he is. Anything to harvest up here, honestly, before we get started? Wow, that didn't land. That still hit me. I can't believe it. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and put on our Temporal Mantle. We're supposed to be getting ready to use that Flint Shot. I just sucked. I just I just flubbed up. I tried to fire the uh, shots into him, but he turned. Alana's on the wrong side of his head. Oh man, don't do it, Io. Nice job, man. He got it. I never doubted you, Io. Ao. Not even for a second. We have Brace, right? Brace coming in handy right there, guys. That was Brace right there, right? Oops, hold on. We got Brace. Yep, flinch free. Flinch free coming in handy. We would not have been able to get that big bang out if we didn't have that move. And here's the affinity sliding, giving us 30% static affinity. Well, I, I suppose it's not static, actually. No, yeah, it is. It is. It's not contingent on the monster's body part, right? It's just, you get it if it's active. It was like maximum might. One of the... It's going to become a meta skill for heavy... Not heavy bow guns, for uh, hammers. I guarantee it. Because, once again, the issue of building affinity is so important here. And hammers have this unique way of taking advantage of a skill that a weapon like Greatsword is going to have trouble with, you know? Greatsword can't build affinity sliding. That's 30% affinity. I mean, if you think about it, really, that's better than Maximum Might. Because Maximum Might, you got 30% for building three medium decoration slots. With Affinity Sliding, with Affinity Sliding, you have to build one medium decoration slot, and it gives you all 30% of the Affinity. All you have to do is go sliding. Now, the reason people didn't build it in the past is because it didn't trigger that well. You had to actually slide for a significant portion of time. And usually, people don't slide that much when they go sliding. But they buffed it, dude. Like, look at this. Watch. 
Oh, well, first we... Oh, there it is. See? We, we slid for like a moment. Did you see that? We slid for a moment and... Oh, I'm gonna get hurt. Oh, not that hurt, actually. Oh, because damage taken reduced. That protection. Remember that? So yeah, the affinity sliding is a big deal now because of the buff. And uh, that's something I, I, I suspect people won't appreciate yet. Some really buffed moves, man. You gotta take a look at them. You gotta try them again. We tried out Defense Boost. I think it's a really solid skill for newer players. Defense Boost now. See, in the past, I would tell newer players, don't even bother with Defense Boost. But now I would say, yeah, consider it if you want. It's gonna make your fights last longer, but it's actually gonna give you a fair amount of defense now for your, for your investment. It's going to give you a fair amount of defense now. Uh, Affinity Slider for the hammers and the dual blades is gonna be a thing. Maybe the bows. Here's that flinch free. So flinch free is stop. Oh, actually, it wouldn't have mattered. I have rock steady on. I take it back. Rock steady would have done the same job. In this case, let's go ahead and pick up these uh, equipments. That hurts. Oh no. Oh, thank God he's KO'd. You won't be able to save me, Quan. You got to use a strong attack to save a player from the uh, paralysis. All right. It could have been worse. <laughs> that was too funny. Nice job on that. What was it with Fulger and Nap getting up so quickly the other day? Like, Kieran's a tempered Elder Dragon. He doesn't do it. That Fulger Anjanath was special, man. He would get up in like two seconds. The moment you knocked him down, he was already standing back up, it felt like. You would get like two hits from Big Bang out. 636 damage. Outstanding. Did this just appear out of nowhere? What the frick? Hypersion says, the downhill attack that Dual Blade does can proc affinity sliding. It's so good. Yeah, that's exactly right, guys. So that's why I mentioned the bow and the Dual Blades, because both of those weapons are pretty solid at getting a slide as well. Not sure if any of the other weapons are. Remind me if any other weapons get the affinity sliding in an easy way. I don't think they do. It's those three weapons, I'm pretty sure. Uh, fan's perspective says his chest vent combustion dragon energy is just like Devil Joe breathing dragon breath, but that but just much faster. Yeah, everything they need to bring Valstrax into the game is here. I'm sure of it. They could do it, and I think they will because we're seeing signs of his move set. And it's like when you see a monster's move set in. You know, that's the, that's the sign, right? Oh, he's enraged. Didn't want to drop my paws there. Okay, we'll go ahead and weaken that. Head's weakened again. Oh, Lana and I have the same idea. Oh, have fun with that. <laughs> Just see Quan. <laughs> He was grabbed on using his uh, finishing move or whatever, his wounding parts move, and uh, Kieran, it, it kind of, that's fun. That that makes Kieran's attack, like, have a new purpose. That's funny as hell, man. <laughs> I wish I had somebody keeping track of, like, timestamps in my live streams so that we could make a fun, like, win and fails compilation for my live streams. I've got an editor. And I've thought about asking him to do it, but it's such it's such hard work to get all that. It seems like he would be more useful working on my commentary videos. I don't know, I think people would enjoy wins and fails for my live streams. What do you think? Don't do it! Oh, I didn't mean to use the spinning bludgeon. Oh, God, I hate spinning bludgeon. It's so dumb. Why, Kieran? Why you gotta run out here, hmm? Ouch. Of course, we didn't take much damage here because of that fortified proc. Ooh. He's ready to be knocked into a wall again. Oh, I thought IO was about to do it.
Ah, darn. He wasn't close enough. Quan's sad. It's okay, Quan. I understand. I don't think he's gonna be close enough in this case either, man. I wanted it. There's Kale. Three, four, five. Damn, dude. Some heavy damage. He's limping. Nice job, everyone. Move that pot over there. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and build this, or sharpen this whetstone. Yeah, so the Nergi Hammer feeling fine. I mean, it does do less damage. It's, it's kind of like just like last time, you know, when we had the Sleep Hammer and the Diablos Hammer, we knew that the Diablos Hammer actually dealt more damage, right? We knew that, but we didn't necessarily use it because, excuse me, the Sleep Hammer was a more comfortable weapon to use, right? You could build what you wanted. Um, you could still get lots of damage in. Uh, and what was the thing we liked about Sleep Hammer? The thing we liked was that it didn't really... It did lose a little bit of damage compared to the Diablos, but you were able to build so much more utility. So, I'm, I'm curious, the last thing to test then is Nergigante Hammer versus the Ishvalda Hammer. That's the last thing to test, really. We got the bones down here? We're going to check for the bones real fast. He's sleeping anyways, I'm not worried. He ain't going anywhere. Alright, let's go catch up to everyone. Yeah, definitely the last question to ask is Ishvalda or Nergigante? I suspect Nergigante because, you know, Ishvalda's like between two extremes. And uh, I would say if you really want to go damage, I bet there's going to be some end game Acidic Glavinous Hammer build. But if you want to if you want to go utility, you you wouldn't bother with Ishvalda because you actually do want to build handicraft on Ishvalda and stuff like that, right? And you actually will lose your purple sharpness on Ishvalda as well. I don't know. We'll have to see. I shouldn't make any too many like. I shouldn't have too many strong opinions either way. That's a. That's something I did wrong with my YouTube channel when I started out. I would have strong opinions before playing more. You gotta play more. That is what I've learned. You gotta play more, and then you will form the correct opinions. It's all about playtime. Playtime and, and experience does it for you. Nergi Hammer feel real nice, though. The sad part is, you guys won't be able to use it till Master Rank 99, but I guarantee you, in like two months, everyone will have reached Master Rank 99. It's not that hard, guys. What I did in like the second week. Some people did it in like the first few days. Alright, let's read that chat. Oh, we got more bones over here. You know I like bones. Diablo's Hammer is dead in base world. I would agree, actually, because uh, the popularization of the Sleep Hammer. Fun fact, World Rathalos has a larger wings wingspan than Gen 1 to 4 Rathalos. Hey, that's a fun fact. No one said he's a steel dragon. Where are you getting these assumptions from? Do do do. What are Faustrax's scales made out of? Uh, pixie dust. Azen Jabberwock, he says, I'm loving the Ishvalda, but it really clicked only after I got Master's Touch. Now I'm testing Brack plus Master plus crit status because nobody was talking about it and felt innovative. Oh yeah, crit status on the Brack Dios uh, weapons. I mean, it, it had more blast than... Ah, a little bug in my face. It had more blast to it than the, um... What am I trying to say? <laughs> Too many names to remember at this point. Zora Magdaros weapon. There we go. I can talk. I know words. Me fail English? That impossible. I'm off tomorrow, so I'll get there tomorrow. Hell yeah. Not everyone plays Monster Hunter World every day. No, I understand. But I'm saying, like, in two months, most people will have reached Master Rank 99, probably. I don't know. You guys think that's gratuitous? You think I'm making too big of an assumption there? I, I think a lot of people. Not everyone, obviously. Some people get to play, like, on the weekends, and that's it. 
Oh wait, here we go. Bone pile right here. I didn't even see that. Opinions on Slugger as a skill in Iceborne. I think what we've seen in Iceborne is that KO has become one of the most, most popular ways to crowd control a monster, and KO is actually feeling almost too strong. Um, I feel like because of that, you don't need to build Slugger. You, what you probably will want to focus on is more damage. That is my opinion. And, and that's kind of how it was in the base game. And it's funny because you didn't even KO monsters as much in the base game. So they already buffed the way Slugger works. I mean, they already buffed uh, Hammers and Sticky Ammo to deal more KO damage. So that kind of created this situation where the need to actually... Um, oh, look at that. We didn't have Twilight Crystal. Giant Mining Outcrop. Uh, let's go looking for it. The need to build Slugger actually went down despite the move getting buffed. Oh wait, I didn't I gotta climb up this thing. Hold on. So we're looking for a giant mining outcrop. Where do you suppose that is? If you guys see it, let me know. I would probably miss it. Oh, right over there. Easy. Ta da Guiding Effluvial Crystal. So cool. I love what they've done with mining outcrops and bones in uh, the Guiding Lands. I think that was one of the better changes that they made to the uh, game. It should work this way in all expeditions, honestly. They should be more rewarding. Get away from me! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't move. All right, there we go. Oh, nope, we're still. I'm a fluvial too. <laughs> oh, you've got a fluvia down here, do you? Oh, that's so cool. So you actually have to deal with the fluvia in the, uh, oh, that's so neat. That actually makes me happy. Let's go ahead and jump over to the tent though. What's he saying? I mean, I could go over there, but I think I'm good. Let's go over here, actually. You cart, you watch JoJo, the most dangerous show. Look up anything on a can of Dragonfly or something like that. Jesus Christ, people need to actually be educated. What? <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> can a Dragonfly? I mean, I've seen Dragonflies. Komar Real says, I agree, Slugger 1 can be slotted if affinity and everything else is maxed, but the nice endgame hammer sets have not enough slots for this luxury. Uh, this one would. Look at this. You don't have to build handicraft on this hammer, so you probably could get Slugger. Okay, okay, okay. So our forest region is at 6. Our coral region is at 5. We're doing pretty good on both of those. And let's see what we have to fight. So we have a Paolumu that we can fight in the coral region. Let's go get that Paolumu. Sorry, guys. It's going to be boring. I don't really care for Paolumu, but we got to do it. Yeah, Io says tempered Paolumu. That's exactly right. You know what we should have done? We should have... You know what? We still can. Hold on. Let's jump off of him real fast. So, we're in the Guiding Lands. We have 40 minutes of Fortify active, right? And you know what we should be doing if we were smart? We should be eating our Mega Demon Drug or our Demon Drug. You don't have to. You don't have to eat the Mega Version. We should have our Demon Drug because you're gonna get that extra bonus damage the whole time. And it, you know, it adds up over 50 minutes. It's a lot of extra damage. You know. There we go from 244 to 270. That's a bit of a bit, right? That's a little bit of damage. A bit of a bit. Nothing to call home about, but nothing to ignore either. All right, and we are going after Paolumu, good. God, I hate Paolumu. Actually, Paolumu and the Nightshade Paolumu are two of my least liked monsters. They're just kind of dumb to look at, to be honest. I don't like the way they look. They, uh, the moveset and all that's fine, but they're just, you know, they're like balloons or something. 
Look at that, that's dumb as hell. I guess if you didn't have some dumb looking monsters, then the other monsters, there would be too many epic looking monsters, you know what I mean? Can't have them all look epic or else none of them would look epic. Oh right, we're supposed to be flint shotting this guy, right? He's enraged. Looks like his tail's already wounded. We'll just rewound it. No problem. Where'd he go? Oh my god, he flew all the way down there in that small amount of time. <laughs> oh my god. Me and the boys playing whack a mole. Oh my god. <laughs> what the frick, dude? Somebody explain how he works too. Like, what are the what are the physics of him bouncing up and down like that? Can somebody explain that? Because it doesn't seem like it would be normally possible to do like so when you blow your neck up with air like that is that a gas that's lighter than air that's causing you to float or is it literally just air because if it was air that would create drag and it would actually make it harder for you to bounce up and down like that well i suppose so would so would the lighter than lighter than air gas but at least the lighter than air gas would allow you to launch back up so quickly which is the unbelievable part of it you know, like, if you dive down real fast, that's one thing, but how's he just jumping right back up so easily? It doesn't make any sense. He's got this mining out crop. God Terror Boy says, I think I finally got Silver Wrath to spawn. Nice, man. There he goes. Two. Three. Four. Time to give him the smack. Oh, there's the smack. Oh, he didn't like that, Ooze. Oh my God, it is hammer time, guys. We need a uh, we need a sound bite for that when we get that good multi big bang going out. What do you call it when four hammers get their big bangs upon a monster? You call it a gang bang. Oh, he got me with the roar. You know you did a good job, a good job on a monster in an area. Like yeah, you had a good sequence of damage when you see all the broken parts all cluttered in one spot. You know that that monster got rickety wrecked. Let's go ahead and grab this guy right here. He got dabbed on. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's not ready to be running to a wall yet, huh? What is going on? <laughs> He's... No, Quan! Quan's like. <laughs> Quan's sad. I understand Quan. It's a sad affair, Quan. Oh, dang, that did a lot of damage to me, too. When you get killed by Paolumu.
Oh my god. Oh, right in the face, man. Blown up into that big balloon. Uh, not a great thing for him. In my opinion. Dude, he's staying in rage a long time. Did you notice that? looking monster. <laughs> Quan fainted again. All right, Quan's getting voted off the island. <laughs> oh. Please let this work. Oh, it worked. I'm a genius. Let's go ahead and pick these up. And let's head on back to the tent. Whew. Who gets killed by Paolumu twice in a row? <laughs> Can't handle that Paolumu. He's too strong. <laughs> Alright. I'm liking the hammer so far. I, I am actually. It's doing fine. Not having to sharpen is okay, I guess. It's not a big deal, though. I wounded him, and he fainted. So let's see. What do we got now? Well, we're kind of waiting for the next monster to show up, I want to say. What do we have for bones? Coral Highlands is good for bones and for... Um, for bones and for... Ore. There we go. Quan, you need that good health boost, boost three. Quan <laughs> not running that health boost three, man. Is he not, really? It's a health boost three thing, man. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's check for some good uh, bone piles. Lord knows I could use a bone. Don't mind me, just grabbing some bones. Vibrant crimson bone. Hmm. Hmm. What else? Honey? There we go. The big old bone piles down here. Yay! We get a huge bone. God, I just love big bones. I'm such a lover. Okay, let's jump up here. Do, 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 do. There is some. It's actually very easy to get uh, these materials once you've kind of figured them out. They're really easy to identify. All right, so I'm seeing a Zen Ogre. I don't think he's tempered. Let's see. No, he is tempered. I correct myself. And he is in the ancient forest. That's our new target, everyone. It looks like I need to get some affinity. I need a steak. You know, once you've crafted all the armor sets in the game, the Guiding Lands is going to be so boring. Because you're not going to want to fight all these different monsters. You're only going to want to fight the monsters that have the pieces that you actually need. Hold on. Alana says turf here. Who's Alana? What color is Alana, I mean? I think Alana's blue? Yeah. Okay. I'm coming, Alana. You guys get on that Zenogre. I'm gonna go find Alana, and I will join up with you guys in a minute. 
Ba doo ba doo doo doo. Skadoo ba doo bee boo. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, woo. Just riding my Raider Rider 2000. Smart vehicle. Good for the environment. Cloak engaged? What? <laughs> Signs of a turf war. Nice find, man. Now, does it overwrite the two I already have, or does it add a third? Oh, look at that. It finished flying Wyvern for me. Nargakuga. Okay, so it just finished the one that I had. That's cool. I wonder if that's a bad thing, then, because we could have finished the one that I had by fighting Zenogre. You know, it's not, because there's no way that the signs of the turf war just stays there forever, so... Yeah, I don't know. Ba -doo -ba -doo -doo -doo. Let's go get that Zenogre, guys. We gotta wreck him. General Lissarak says, Sound bit of you saying, Uwooslis. Uwooslis, Uwooslis, Uwooslis! <laughs> Here's what I'll do, General Lissarak. I'll get a full script of your favorite JoJo episode, and we'll do a live stream where... I don't talk about the game at all, the actual game that we're playing. I will, the whole, whole live stream episode will be me carefully recreating the voice acting of the conversation in that episode. That'll be the whole thing. And then you should be satisfied. Azen says, I agree. Everyone will chase Tempered Namiel for the health regen parts and it will get super annoying to find playing solo. Ah, right. Tempered Namio. I see nobody's flint shotting him. You gotta flint shot him. The most important thing. You know why no one's flint shotting him? Because flint shotting a monster isn't always the most fun. Sometimes you just want to use your weapon. He's enraged. Smack you in the head. Smack you both in the head. I'm not scared. What are you trying to say, Nargakuga? You think I wouldn't take you both on? I'll take you both on. Got my Lincoln Park music. I got my Naruto helmet. Whatever that band is. Just kidding. I'm gonna die here. Let's go ahead and eat. Get this temporal mantle on. You know I would have died if I didn't have fortify times two, right? Loving that fortify. Whoop. Let's break the tail. Oh, the tail's already broken. You know what people are going to start doing? They're going to start selling Namiel runs on eBay. They're going to be like, guaranteed Namiel run. $5. I'll send you the uh, private session. <laughs> that would be funny as hell if that happened. Oh! Poor Quan Quan. Quan Quan, no! Now, one thing I'm curious about, is it only Quan Quan who loses rewards, or do we all lose rewards? So you know how it says, like, Hunter rewards decreased? Is that just for Quan Quan or for everyone? It would be better if it was only for Quan Quan, obviously, right? Because if it's for everyone, then I'm going to get agitated. <laughs> Says the guy who carts so much. Don't do it! Wait, he can be knocked into a wall. I need a pod. I need a pod stat. Oh, somebody already did it. One shot is an OP! What are you talking about? Flint shot is fair and balanced. Flint shot couldn't be more OP right now. Yeah, I just got my full Big Bang out. Tell me when else I get a Big Bang other than a knockdown. Big Bang's like the only time you get a knock or a big 
Knockdown's the only time you get a big bang. Promise. Look at this second big... Look at this. Oh, but he didn't hit a wall. Nice try. That's his roar. It's a re-roar. Some monsters get a burr roar, roar. They're like burr, right? Probably alpha males. But the beta males, they get the re... They get the re-roar, you know what I mean? The beta, the beta male animals. They don't go burr, they go re... Let's grab the dragon strike nut. Oh. I can tell that Zenogre went for his liberal arts degree. It's really obvious. And he's very passionate about healthcare for all. <laughs> Man, the gold Raytheon charge blade looks nice. It does, doesn't it? I gotta fight some gold Raytheon sometime. Oh, my dear god. Oh, my dear god. You know what you guys should be doing? Alana and Ao and everyone who likes to play live with me kind of on a consistent, uh, you know, kind of consistently. You guys, since I'm leveling up Ancient Forest and Coral Highlands, you guys should do the opposite. You should go for Wildspire Waste and, uh, Wildspire Waste and, oh, what's the name of the other place? I can't remember. I don't know if you the name of that. I, I, I use, Wildspire Waste makes me think of Wastelands and then I, I think of the Effluvial area, but that's not the name of it. Not for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it. I have to know. Oh, does it not say his name? Wildspire Waste. What am I thinking of? There we go. Rotten Vale. Oh, man. We just haven't been to the Rotten Vale in a while. I couldn't remember the name. Rotten and Waste are very similar to each other. Io says, I have level 7 Wild. So, yeah. You should. Uh, you guys should do that. You should level up Wildspire Waste. You should level up the Rotten Vale. And what we'll do is we'll trade off sometimes. We'll do... Uh, we'll do mine sometimes, and then we'll do yours sometimes. Just like that. Simple. I wanted it! There's that Nargapuga. Nargapunkun. Oh, my god. C. Johnson's like Rotten Vale Wall. Yeah, I just couldn't. The name just wouldn't come back to memory. It's so weird. I had to see it to see the name. Wildspire Waste. I think my brain was just like, yes, yeah, the Wasteland. <laughs> but I'm, I'm like, no, that's not the name because Wildspire Waste is the Wildspire Waste. Obviously. What's going on, man? It's the early signs of dementia, everyone. Don't do it. Oh, I didn't realize I was done already. <laughs> Not bad. I, I would say, though, um, probably should have waited for after the mount, though, you know what I mean? Because we lost the, uh, we lost the mount crowd control. There he goes again. And look, Agitator did, did actually activate. Look at that. Easy. Fortify OP, guys. I should just make a video about that already. I gotta, I gotta make a video on the flinch shot. I gotta make a video on uh, using fortify and the guiding lands for anyone who doesn't know about it already. I mean, it's just so strong. Boop. God, man. Oh my god, man. You see these wobbles? What the frick? Making the ground wobble. Alright, let's put on the rock steady so we don't have to deal with that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, that looks like it would have been painful. Yeah, that's right. I'm figuring you out. Figuring out where your head is after you stand up for that move. Oh, he thought he was leaving. 
<laughs> I, I don't think so. Parts broken. All right, let's go ahead and try them. I thought Temporary Lunastra was held to regen. All right, let's go ahead and jump down here. Nice job. I'm just gonna keep making fun of the guy who said that flint shot wasn't wasn't OP. Flint shot is balanced. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure it is. I can't believe this isn't reaching. Oh my god, what a whiff. What a freaking whiff, dude. Here we go. It's so balanced. That's why we can get two knockdowns every time he's done being en enraged. Dude. And look, the Big Bang coming out. Come on, guys. Oops, I didn't get the last part of the Big Bang, though. He's hurt. How bad is he hurt, though? Is he going to be limping? He's not limping yet, guys. Probably close, though. Let's get that carve on the tail. What is your master rank? We're over, um, we're over 100 now. Probably like 105 or something. HM says, tell us how you truly feel about flint shot. <laughs> flint shot is... I think flint shot could be nerfed. And people would not complain. Flint shot is really strong right now. Go get him, boy! could get those bones alternatively. Let's get the bones. I gotta go through 14 weapon classes. I have no problem with picking these bones up first. <laughs> I have the brace decoration. Giant bone piles emerged. Where? I want the giant bone piles. Um, Should we help our teammates first? Let's help our teammates first. Wait, is he in the wild spire waste? Ah, uh, he kind of is. Wait, I know how to fix this, actually. Wait for him to stand up first. You guys, let's get him out of the Wildspire Waste. We don't want to level Wildspire Waste. Oh, I dodged that. Did you see that, guys? That might have actually killed me. Let's get him out of here. Yeah, we get it. You're going. Get out of here. Also, if we could find that bone pile, that'd be nice. I don't know if you guys know the locations for the bone piles in the Wildspire Waste. I don't actually. I mean, I, I, I've... I've actually harvested them before, but I don't remember where I was. Alright, we're going to have to have a pitfall trap for this guy, because he's a big old boy. Ah. Right into the trap. One. Two. There we go. And we captured him in the ancient forest. That's actually important, I believe. Do we break seven yet? I can't remember. God, I'm so bad at this. Wait, so why isn't it telling me... Weird... Um, I guess I'll jump back back to the camp. Davu says, I still didn't get the freaking notification. Well, hit that bell button, man. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button. Join my Discord server. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I mean, there's ways to be notified. The number one way to be notified that I'm going live is the Discord server, though. Really, it is. Because when I, whenever I go live, I ping everyone in the Discord server. So that's the number one way to know. Do we have rations? We do, in fact, have rations. Alright, we're going to go ahead and have this well-done steak. Dude, I'm voracious. Look at my character go. He's like... Rawr, rawr, rawr. Okay, and let's talk to the handler. Handler. 
warped face stones, ancient face stones. Woo! Wildspire Waste Region actually did get leveled up. Uh, Forest Region is still heading towards 7. It's not quite there yet. But both, both the Coral Highlands and the Ancient Forest are level 6 as of right now. we got to get them to 7 as fast as we can. We're at 2 hours and 10 minutes. Let's see if we're wrapping up right now. We might be wrapping up. Ooh, we got a Kushala de Aura. That would make him tempered, right? Do we have a Namiel? That'd be cool if we had Namiel. All right. So... You know what? I think we're at a stopping point. I honestly think we are. Let's go ahead and head back to, to base. We'll talk a little bit about what we want to do in the next episode. TGC got another attack jewel. Yeah, and I'm, I don't even use them. Come on, man. <laughs> attack jewels, my booty. My booty pahooty. Everyone gets an attack jewel at the end of the base game story. And then everyone gets an attack jewel when you do the, um, the witcher quest for the Puke Puke, remember the side quest? So everyone has at least two decorations for attack jewels, right? And now there's this new attack jewel you can earn that say from the ancient face stone, so you can get like fortitude attack. So it's even easier to get attack. They're not even rare anymore, guys, come on. And then uh, you build the attack boost charm, you're set. You only need attack boost for the majority of the time because you're going for the affinity and attack boost together. It's not that rare anymore, guys. It never really was. Pron says, I don't know if you already know this, but capturing will give you normal rewards and killing will give you rare rewards like augmenting materials. Uh, I'll consider that, Prawn. I feel like there's a lot of misinformation about what capturing will do. And in my experience, capturing will give you the same exact rewards as killing. Go and sell that attack jewel for secret achievements. Really? Let's see. <laughs> sell items um of course they don't have this in alphabetical order why would they here we go how many should I sell 10 of them <laughs> what no secret achievement he tricked me <laughs> All right, let's run up here. We're going to talk about the, the last hammer we're going to be looking at is the Ishval the hammer, obviously. Let me just double look through the hammers to make sure there's really nothing else. Forge equipment, weapons, hammers. Um, The best blast hammer, right? So let's see. This was okay for fire, but it's really not that bad, actually. It's very close, quite close, I'd say. Uh, one thing to think about in particular with the hammers is when you're actually using the spinning bludgeon, you you actually are attacking very quickly with the spinning bludgeon, right? And so if you're fighting a monster on a hill, uh, elemental damage is uh, something you have to consider. And with this being so close to ruinous obliteration, it's actually interesting to think about, but it's not that close, is it? It's a whole 100 attack behind, 104. Uh, it does have that bonus 20% affinity and it does do more fire damage. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think that'll be used. I'm curious about the ailment weapons. You know, ailment weapons are weapons I don't really think too much about. So what do we have? Great gyrus? Nah. I mean, it looks nice, doesn't it? Look at that paralysis. Nightshade Lumu. 450 sleep? I don't think so. Puke, puke tree. Actually, I do remember one. Hold on. The best looking ailment hammers were... Uh, there's this... Uh, right, here it is. The Ruiner Nergigante tree. From, uh, or for Lunastra, that is. Nergigante for Lunastra. So the the Ruin. Attack of 1404. Built-in white sharpness. You can bring it up to purple if you wanted. Blast of 210. Ha haste and recovery. Actually useful on a hammer. Okay, so ha hammers do well with haste and recovery, if you guys didn't know that. Um, Consummate hammer is a no. We need to do some... Oh, man, we need to do some arena, guys. We really do. The Magda... A Magda Floga with 450 Blast, but actually it doesn't quite compete, in my opinion, with the Bracky, Dammy, uh, Bracky Daddy Tail Hammer. <laughs> Dude, what long names, man. Bracky Daddy Tail Hammer. So, 1352, 510 Blast. That's quite a bit of Blast, guys. Blast hitting for 300 now, so 
It's an interesting one as well. So the Bracky Daddy Hammer and the Ruiner Nur Gigante Hammer. Both of these are of interest. Not as important as pure damage with the Cidic Glavinus and Shara Ishvalda. Uh, as well as... Oh, right, right. And the Ian Garuga. Wait a second. Where's the Ian Garuga? The Garuga Hammer. Where's the Garuga Hammer? It was down here, was it not? I was surprised to discover it because I didn't think there was a Garuga Hammer. Where is he? He's somewhere. That's Pukey Pukey Tree. Glavinus, Diablos. Oh, God. Imagine if this was in alphabetical order. Just imagine. Here it is, right here. 1404. What's really impressive about this hammer is the built-in 25% affinity. That's actually really good, because what that means is you don't have to build Crit Eye. You would probably build um, Weakness Exploit 3, and you'd probably build Affinity Slider. Well, no, maybe you would still build Crit Eye, just to be safe in case you don't have Affinity Slider. No, you'd probably still build Crit Eye. Maybe you'd drop the Affinity Slider. That's what would happen. Yeah. But look at that. So 1404... Poison of 240, which isn't a big deal, but I mean like two poisons over the course of a fight, you do have to consider that into the damage output of the weapon. Will it compete with Blast, though? I guess if it didn't compete with Blast, then it still would not be a better option than this guy right here. So 1404, Purple Sharpness as well. Haste and Recovery, you just don't get as much built-in affinity. That's the difference. 25% 25 affinity, it's a lot, man. It's a lot of base affinity. Alright, so those are weapons to question. The Ishvalda hammer is kind of like... It's in between the Nergigante hammer and the Acidic Glavinous... Uh, yeah, I said that right. The Acidic Glavinous hammer. It's kind of like in between them. Because it does a little more raw. Not as much as Acidic, more than the Nergigante. But then it has less sharpness than the Nergigante hammer. It runs out, you eventually have to sharpen it. Look at that. The spikes on that. That's cool, man. All right, I think we're ready to wrap up. So if you guys have been enjoying the stream, something I don't ask very often is if you guys would like to hit that subscribe button. I'm getting very close to 90,000 though. So I'm actually gonna ask some people to subscribe. If you guys would like to see more of my live streams, please hit that subscribe button. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up. Give you guys the wave. Thank you all for joining. All right, time to go make some more videos, guys. I wanna thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time.